Hi folks, Jason here to show you how to take an image and turn it into kind of a gold or liquid metal effect. I'm going to show you how to do this on this flower and also on this swirl and different um, images. This one's got a lot of texture in it and this one's got a lot of flowing um, curves and beautiful subtle um, differences. So we can turn this into kind of this flowing metal effect. We're going to start with the flower. And what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this layer in the layers panel because this is going to be destructive. So I'm going to do command J, which is going to duplicate that. And I'm going to turn off my original layer with my new layer. I'm going to go in and I want to mask this out. Now, luckily, this was shot on a white background. So I'm going to go over to my object selection tool. And with that object selection tool selected, I'm going to click on the select subject button in my options bar and it's going to put a really nice selection around this. Then I'm going to mask this out right there like so. Now there's no need to turn this into a smart object here because everything that we're going to be doing is going to be destructive and so there's not much else we can do so we're just going to leave it. With this I now want to go under the image menu under adjustments and I want to desaturate make sure I'm on my actual layer here and not on my mask. So image adjustments desaturate and this is going to simply take out all the hue and just leave me with the full tonal range of a black and white image. Now from this point what I want to do is I want to get rid of a lot of this detail. So watch what happens when I go in and I apply my camera raw filter to this. And the camera raw filter is going to do some cool stuff here and yet another reason why I love camera raw. So opening it up in camera raw I'm going to call up the detail here of the corner that I had zoomed in on before. And in my adjustments here I'm going to go and I'm going to remove the texture of this image. And you can see I'm just going to take that texture down. Then I'm going to go over to my detail category here, those two little mountains. And I'm going to adjust the luminance here. And it's going to tend to smooth things over. And then the luminance detail here, you see I'm going to drag that down. And you see how it gets that painterly effect and I'm getting rid of some of the details. Now the luminous contrast is going to add more contrast to this and I don't want that. I actually want that smoothing effect. In fact, I like that smoothing effect so much with that coming out, I'm probably going to go in and I'm probably going to run that again one more time under filter camera raw. Zoom back into my detail areas here and there still is some texture here and I could then take the texture out further, not too much. And then go back to my detail here and adjust the luminance and take out the luminance detail a little bit more. Now with that I get a very painterly quality to my entire image and this is really cool. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go under the image menu and I'm going to use the apply image. And the apply image is a really interesting kind of thing. Again, it's destructive. And what I'm doing is I'm actually applying my image and I'm using the same image as the source. I'm going to put this onto my merged layer right here. I'm going to use the channel and I want to choose the difference blending mode. But I'm going to choose invert. Now before I choose invert, I just want to show you what some of the blending modes of things that I could do here with this um, apply image. And go back in, sorry, go to the blending mode here. And with the blending mode, I'm just going to hover my cursor over here and you can see all the different things that I can get when I'm applying this basically grayscale image over itself. And I get some really cool stuff. Now, when I choose the difference blending mode and it all turns black, I'm going to choose invert. And this is going to give me the exact opposite applied to itself, which is kind of this halo looking effect. Now go back to the layers panel and I'm going to click on my half moon and I'm going to call up my hue and saturation layer. I'm going to click on the colorize button and I'm going to saturate this a fair amount. And I'm also then going to go in and kind of dial in kind of that golden color right there. And what's amazing with this is that when you dial this in and you put a lot of saturation in there, you get kind of this amazing gold color and your object actually looks like it's gold. Now this has a lot of detail and a lot of shadow here, but this kind of effect here where you get that shadow from the difference that we applied in that apply image, you get that really cool golden effect. Now it all depends on how much you use your filter here on your camera raw. 
And there's a certain balance that you have to put in there to get the right amount of blur and removal of texture in order for this to work. So on a complex object, it's kind of a uh, kind of a dance in between how much you blur and how much you go ahead and take out of the luminance to take out of the detail. But I want to show you the same effect on this swirl here if I want to turn this into a liquid metal swirl using the exact same setup. I'm going to use my command J and I'm going to duplicate that layer again and go under image, adjustments, desaturate, desaturates that whole thing. And I don't have a whole bunch of detail in here, but if I do go under and use my camera raw filter, and I see this right here, and I remove some of this texture in here, it's just going to smooth that out a little bit more. And that's kind of what you want when you're dealing with this kind of liquid flowing effect. If I go into the detail and I adjust the luminance here, you'll see that it really doesn't do much with you know, the softening of that, because it's already got a fairly soft kind of liquid metal effect. So it didn't do much different. Now under the image menu, I'm going to apply the image. And here, again, the source is going to be my same image. It's going to be merged, the RGB channel, blending mode to difference, and I'm going to choose the invert right there. And I've got that. Now I could go in and use my hue and saturation to then use the colorize filter. I'm going to do something different here. I'm going to click on my half moon and choose a solid color. And with this solid color here, I'm going to go in and I'm going to kind of lighten it up a little bit and pick a gold color here and kind of get a nice gold color right there and apply it to this image. And then I'm going to use the blending modes here, but the blending modes that may really make this pop is vivid light. And vivid light seems to have this amazing effect of going in and really turning this to a very high contrast liquid gold kind of effect. Hard light gives it just kind of this soft effect and it's very easy just to run through all the different effects here. But vivid light is the one that seems to have like the biggest punch of them all. And with that vivid light then of course you can adjust the opacity of how much you want and you can always adjust your color fill layer here if you'd like to go in and change the colors and make it more gold or more brown or more red and do it that way as well which is super cool. So now I got this liquid metal effect. And of course, if you'd like silver, then just go ahead and use a gray on this. Or if you want kind of like a bluish silver and you want to do any type of really cool, funky um, overlay like that, it just becomes super, super, super cool. The lighter the colors here in this particular example, you'll notice that it starts to do really weird things because of the vivid light. And you can really start to shift those colors depending on the hue and the saturation of those colors, you can have a dramatic effect on what kind of kind of ethereal look that you want to have. So that's just a really quick overview of how you go in and use the apply image um, with this and get this really cool effect by using the apply image as a difference and making something into a metal looking object.